Hey buddy, in this video, I will show you how to enable nightlife feature in Windows 10 Fall Creators Update. This feature is available from Windows 10 Creators Update but has been updated in Fall Creators Update. First, I will tell you what this feature will do. We will also learn what is blue light. So without wasting a second, let's get started. First, let me tell you what is blue light. So blue light is a light that is emitted by electronic screens in your computers, laptops, phones, tablets, and even television. The frequency of blue light is pretty close to UV light, which damages our eyes. Not like normal light, blue light enters deeper into our eye, damaging our retina. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of blue light. The biggest problem is sleep cycle. There will be always certain amount of blue light and UV light emitted by our sun in the daytime. By the amount of light received by your eyes, your brain decides when it is morning and when it is night. In the case of electronic displays, they even emit blue light in night. Watching television overnight or working with computers for a long period of time will trick your mind making it think that it is still daytime, even though it is night. So our brain will not be ready to sleep. It takes longer time getting sleep and also you won't be getting a peaceful and deep sleep. The solution for this is enabling nightlight feature in Windows 10 which will filter most of the blue light emitted by your computer screen. Before releasing Windows 10 Creators Update, we had to install additional program like Flux which can reduce blue light according to the sunset and sunrise. But now, we have that feature built into Windows 10 Full Creators Update. Now let's see how to enable it and use it. To get started, open Start menu and search for Settings. Now select the first result, which is the Settings app. Once it has loaded, open the System section by clicking on it. Here you will find a toggle switch called Nightlight. If you enable it, Windows will automatically turn on Nightlight filter according to Sunset and Sunrise in your area. After enabling the switch, to get further control over this feature, let's click on the link below that will give us more controls. In this section, the first button will toggle next sunset or sunrise. The above label will show the current status. The below slider will show you how much intense you want the filter to be. Here is how the display will look if the intensity is at zero. Note that these images are taken with an external camera and is for an approximate idea. If you set the intensity to exactly half, this is how your monitor would look like. For the maximum intensity, even though it is not recommended, this is how it looks. I recommend you to set the intensity to a level where your eyes are comfortable and colors are not distorted. Setting it too low will not show the effect and setting it too high will not allow you to see the screen properly. Once that is done, moving on we have the scheduled section. Here you can customize when blue light protection will turn on and when it will be disabled. The first option is a toggle switch which will turn on the schedule feature. If you turn off this, you have to manually turn on the night light when you need it. Below you can set it to automatically follow the sunset and sunrise or you can set your preferred hours. If you're really worried about your eyes, then I recommend you to consider buying an anti-glare and blue light protective glasses. This feature can reduce the blue light but cannot completely stop it. So that was it for this video. Please like this video if you found this video useful and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. This is Wasn't Developer, signing off.